Uh -huh. I know you like my style. Uh -huh. You like how I break it down. Uh -huh. I know you like my style. Uh -huh. You like how I break it down. I know you like my style. Uh -huh. You like how I break it down. Wanna get rich? I show you how. Hey guys, third time I made this video, but whatever. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to pwn 2.01 or 2.1 firmware on the iPod Touch or iPhone, guys. So, um, yeah, I have the, first, what you're going to want to do, fully uninstall WinPone, the old one. If you haven't installed, if you have win, the old WinPone installed, go into Control Panel, Add or Remove Programs, and hit that, and search for, um, WinPone and uninstall. It should take, like, two minutes, a minute or something. So, yeah, once you have that fully uninstalled, install the new one. I'll have that in the right of the video description. It's a sense base. It tends to be the easiest one for people to download. So yeah, then after you have that fully downloaded, it's you're going to get the setup file right here. It's going to look like this, or it might look like this, doesn't matter, just hit it. Hit it, hit it again. That's You're going to get that, hit next, 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 finish. Then you should be done, and then go into wherever the final wind poem came out. Oh, well, don't go into it yet, download the custom, I mean, why do I keep saying, the restore firmware, that... The one in the video description is not custom. You'll get that when you, um, in the middle of the process, when you're poning 2.0, 2.1. So you can start, you can start in 1.1.5, though, to do this, if you want. But yeah, if you want to get 2.0 free, watch my other video. So yeah, um, download the link. If you're an iPhone, download the iPhone one. And if you're an iPod Touch, download the, the iPod Touch one. And just to tell you guys, I named the iPod Touch one Custom Restore Firmware on accident. It's not the Custom Restore Firmware. Same with the iPhone one. But yeah, so don't get it mixed up, guys. So sorry about it. I'm just rambling right now. But anyways, um, once you have that downloaded, make sure your iPods is plugged in. And also make sure iTunes is closed. I know lots of people don't mention that in their video. Exit out of iTunes. Close it out. You can have Safari open or Internet Explorer or whatever you use Firefox. So then after that, you're going to want to open up WinPone. Mine's right here. You search for yours. Hit Browse IPSW and hit the Restore Firmware. Not the Custom Restore Firmware. You don't even have that yet probably. But hit the new one. And if you don't know which one's the new one, right click Properties and it'll say the last time it was created and when it was modified. Just choose either one. Now you're going to want to hit the restore firmware. And give it like five seconds to load. Now it's done. It's going to say be sure to connect an iPod since I'm an iPod. But if you're an iPhone, it's obviously going to say iPhone. So then after that, you're going to go into IPSW Builder if you want to boot up logo. Hit that. Now you're going to want to check all these. YouTube activate, unless you don't want the YouTube activation fix, but... Well, you probably would want that, definitely. And if you want Cydia and Installer 2.0, it says Installer 2.0, but it is it is Installer 4.0, guys. Don't get mixed up. And then you can get a, um, the, you just leave this normal. Same with this. So then, but if you want to, I would suggest a custom boot up logo. They're pretty cool. So check the box, custom boot up logo. And then hit a uh, search online. I don't like this one. So if you want... Wait, is this the... Okay, this is the boot-up logo, not the restore. I like the, um... Sorry about this, guys. Um, now just pick your boot-up logo. I'll pick this one right here. Starting up. And then for the restore logo, you don't have to choose that. I really don't like the restore logo because you only see it for, like, five seconds. Oops. Search online. Um, but whatever. Um... I'll get this right here. Uh, I pwned right here. Actually, I'm going to change this. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. To that. The storage online. And then I'm going to change that. Where's the gorilla? Okay. Sorry about that, guys. So sorry about that. So anyways, after you do that, make sure you check this and all that. You don't. That doesn't matter. Same with this. So then you're going to want to hit 
build IPSW, build IPSW, hit that, and then you're going to hit OK. See, it came up with the customer store. I'll show you again. Hit build IPSW and it's going to come up with it. Customer iPod 1.2.015B108. Yeah, whatever. Then you're going to want to hit save. And then it's going to take about a couple seconds to build the IPSW. So I'm going to pause the video here and add in another part. This No, not a couple seconds, guys. It's going to take about 15 minutes, guys. So I'm going to pause the video right here. Okay, see you in 5 minutes or 10. Sorry about that guys, but anyways, it should say iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. After that, you must restore the iPod before it can be pounded, it could be found, be used in iTunes. So hit OK. Now I don't know how I'm going to do this, but you see the shift button right here? Hold that while you click down on restore. So hold shift and click restore. And I can't show you how to do this, so it's going to be kind of hard. Shift, restore. That's what should pop up. Um, I have a lot of restore firmwares. But yeah, you're going to want to hit the custom 2.01 restore firmware. There might be a different one. Um, yeah, um, so hit that. You might be using a different one. So if you're in 2.01, you should get 2.01. If you're in 1.1.5, you should get 1.1.5. And it should say iPhone. But yeah, or iPod, whichever one you're using. Sorry, that, um, so hit custom iPod, I'm in custom iPod, so hit that, and then it's going to extract software, and it should work, if you get an error at the end, you must have put it in DFU mode wrong, or you use the wrong firmware, if you have any problems, try, if you put it in DFU mode, make sure you try it, like, three times before you ask me and send me a message, because, because then I could send you something that automatically puts it in DFU mode, it's called, it's on the iPhone, but yeah, so, thanks guys, your, I put, uh, your screen should be white, and it should be like this. Make sure you set it as a new iPod at the end. Thanks guys, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.